Hi guys. Miserable rainy day out there today. I have just finished going through the five models in this rubber band racers, one of which was an aeroplane, which didn't fly very well. But that reminded me that I got another kit in my stock by Thames and Cosmos, which is also aeroplanes. Looks like it's all gliders rather than rubber band powered. Cost me 99 pence in a charity shop. And I haven't had a look inside yet. Don't know how long I've had that in my kit. So we'll put the phone on the tripod and we'll have a look, see if we can make one of the gliders. Right, we'll start off with the camera in wide angle so we can see what's going on. If we've got any detail, we'll go close up. Looks like somebody's had a go at it. Uh, that should be a, a 2014. <laughs> so this could be quite old. I see the Thames and Cosmos stuff is still available on Amazon, so it might still be available. I think they have a kit number on them somewhere. The other one did. 550014. Well, I'll have a look on Amazon, and if I can find a link, I'll put it in the video description. They're not very big wings. Hmm. Well, the wings have already been joined together, so don't need to do that. And with that wind and rain outside, I don't think we're going to be going out to test fly anything at the moment. But it looks like we could put this one together, first one in the list. Uh, let's rearrange things a little bit. Well, we definitely need a tail. Okay, that's that bit. And we need this bit with these bits on it. And those bits so they're already assembled so we don't need to worry about it ah, now that one is upside down why is that upside down or is it? 
No, that's the right way. They actually want it that way. So it's sort of gull wing. Loosely. Person, we ought to have had them the other way up to give us polyhydral. Polyhedral. At least for the first attempt. Yeah, I'm going to turn that one over. <laughs> God, that's tight. Well, there we have a glider. That one's got a bit of a bend in it. I reckon we're going to swap that one. With this one, They've got a slight bend in them.
That's straighter, still got a bit of a bend in it. So there's our first glider from the set. And then we can play around with different arrangements for the wings. How do they get the dihedral? Ah, right. There should be one more piece, and there isn't. Ah, oh, that's annoying. So it's not a complete kit. These connectors here, that one's got a slight bend in it. The ones that I've put in here and here are practically straight. We've got that one that's got a good dihedral in it. But from the looks of it, we should have at least two like that. So we can have dihedral tips. And we haven't got it. Because that helps your stability. Oh, that's a shame. I suppose I could 3D print something, couldn't I? Would be a possibility. If it wasn't raining, I'd just throw it out in the garden anyway, so we could see if it actually flies. Looks all a bit bent, so it needs some adjustment to get it to fly straight. I could just throw it in the kitchen, couldn't I? Right, we're out in the garden. I'm sheltering under the shed at the moment. So when there's a gap in the rain and it's not too windy, we'll just try throwing it across the garden. So I'll have to edit out all the waiting. Touch tail heavy. That's better. Far from an ideal day to try doing this. Sun shining on it. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go in. We can see that it's got the potential to fly. And at this moment, we got the sunshine on it and the rain. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.